hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is becky setra uk registered nurse and i give tips and advice to overseas nurses who have relocated to the uk carers senior carers your families as well as those nurses who are still hoping or planning to relocate to the uk to work as nurses anyway so once again i'm going to be talking about professional development in nursing when you relocate to the uk most people come to the UK, they have a plan. Some do not have a plan. So if you have a plan, that's good. One of the plans people may have is to come and work, gain experience and, you know, develop professionalists. Others just want to come, work, 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 make money and that's it. Some want a bit of both. So it depends on you as an individual. So if you want to know about what I'm going to be talking about in this video today, why not watch it? to the end. So you're welcome back to the main video. If this is the first time you've come across my channel, you're very welcome. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. So I'll start with my own personal experience. Before I start, today's topic is when to start applying for band six jobs as overseas trained nurse so when you get here when do you want to start applying for band six job as i said bef before when people come in some people have a plan some have no plans at all when i came i don't really know if i had a plan i just came i want to be a nurse i need to work in the uk gain experience but i did not know a lot about the different professional development options that may be available but i learned myself you're out here and some of us are giving you all the tips and information so please make good use of them make a plan your plan is either you want to come work make money go back home or you want to work make money as well as develop professionally whichever you want is your personal decision so when i came 2003 i as i said i didn't really have much plan i was just working no one was there to guide me i did not know the different options that may be available for me so i just work 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 six years into working i thought you know what i think it's time to pursue professional development hence i became i decided to go the path of specialist nursing so i became a specialist nurse band six i worked for a while since two 2009 to 2012 and I became a band seven and I've been band seven since 2012 until today which is about 11 years ago um, the question someone would be asking why not go to band eight yes I could have but you know a lot happened and I decided you know what I'll stay as I am if an opportunity comes for a seven I think I might want to pursue that and become an eight before I retire in a few years time anyway let's come back so when you come as an overseas nurse to the uk you are starting as a band let's say before you get your registration you are starting as a band four and after you've obtained your nmc registration you're going to be a band five which is the entry point for newly registered nurses in the uk these bands i'm talking about is mainly nurses who are working in the nhs hospitals or community or nhs staff on agenda for change contract um, they have banding from band one band two until band nine so nursing starts from band five but we do have nurse associates who are band four so salary for band five uh in 2023-2024 so if i say 2023-2024 means that from april 2023 till March ending 2024. It might change, I don't know, but currently the salary for band five annual salary is 28,407 uh, uh, pounds. So £28,407, which is the starting and then the top is about 34,581. So for the zero to two years, you would be earning £28,407 per annum. From two years and above, it goes to 
another point and then when you get to the top i think from four years plus you will get to about 34,581. So if you're a band five nurse and you don't apply to go to band six, that is where your salary range is going to be until you apply for band, band six before you go up. However, if you're doing night duties, um, weekend shifts and, all, and long days, some of the hours count as on social hours. So you get paid a little bit more for that. Now let's go to band six. So when you get to band six, currently 2023-2024, starting salary for a band six nurse is £35,392 per annum. The top, which is by the time you've done about five, six years into band six, you would get about £42,618 per annum. If you work weekends, night, you get a bit extra, but that will reflect in your monthly salary. So that is if you're on agenda for change. This does not cover home care home nurses because they're on completely private contract. So when do you have to start or when do you want to start applying for a band six role? It's perfectly your decision as an individual. There is no fast rule for you as an overseas nurse to start applying for a band six role. One thing you should bear in mind is that no manager would, uh, would promote you automatically to band six or it doesn't happen like that in the UK. You have to search for that professional development. You have to search for that next stage in your pro career progression yourself. Nobody will tell you. There are managers out there who will encourage you to go ahead because they have seen the potential in you. Those are very few. There are managers who would not even say anything. So I will tell you the fact I've worked in this country for 20 years. As a band seven, there was a point, there was an opportunity which I felt as a band seven at that point and as a lead nurse, knowing myself, and knowing how much I was working and knowing the capabilities I had. And I felt, you know, I could be molded by a manager and encouraged to go ahead to be a band eight to lead a team but that did not happen and i thought you know what if it's more or less like you are being set up to fail so because of that i rather decided not to go that step further somebody will say you could have done that no i'll say no because if you don't see the the fact that you have managers there to support you you would end up failing. So those are some of the facts. Those are some of the things you should be aware of. Once again, as I said, you would have very good managers who will see the potential in you and they will encourage you. They will support you to grow professionally and you will meet very few managers. There are a few minority that would not really um, show any interest in supporting you. Yes. In a way, we are in a country where some people will prefer to encourage and support their own. These are facts. I've been here, I've worked here, so I'm just telling you, you need to be aware. And it's, it's the same everywhere anyway. So let's go on. I should stop ranting. Um, again, it depends on when you feel ready to apply for a band six role. You don't just come after one year and you feel, you know what, I want to be a six no it's up to you if you are a fast learner and you have learned a lot about the system and you feel you know what it's a good time to progress definitely why not but there is no fast rule there's a lot of extra responsibility when you get to band six another thing to bear in mind is you need to identify which band six route or role you want do you want to become a band six nurse on the ward do you want to branch off the ward 
to specialist nursing. I've done a video about how to become a nurse specialist or you know or the different type of specialist nursing roles in the UK so look out for that video and and, and watch. So once again identify where you want to develop being on the ward to be a ward manager so by that you have to become a deputy ward manager which is band six first and then do you want to develop after that to become a manager on the ward and after that the next option would be do you want to progress to become a matron you know in a hospital yes you can it is possible there are people who have done it so i believe you can do it with your determination and hard work um, so those are some of of the things um, you need to bear in mind now previously as i said i did a video on different specialist nursing jobs those uh, for within hospital or out of hospital jobs you can choose whichever you want to become a band six my advice to you is it's important for you when you arrive in the uk to study how things are done on the wards you need to know the policies if you want to be a ward man a deputy ward manager which is band six you need to find out more about how they do their rostering uh, now some hospital use electronic rostering system you need to know how to do some of those things you need to make yourself aware of the sickness and absence policies you know how to manage people some of the requirements to become a band six you need to make Make sure you get one of them is mentorship program you need to be a mentor you need to have that mentorship uh, qualification is a module that all hospitals are able to send nurses on as part of their professional development which means that if you're a mentor you can mentor a student nurse on the ward you can do a bit of teaching of students nurses not in a uh, university but on the ward environment as well so if you're new to UK as an overseas nurse and you're working on the ward if you're going to have your appraisal with your manager you need to identify the mentorship course as one of your professional development courses you need to do that it will help you because most of the band six jobs if you're applying they will require um, mentorship qualification so keep that in mind and ask and put that in your appraisal as part of your professional development most of the jobs would ask for significant post registration experience if you have traveled from overseas you've trained overseas and you've worked overseas you would have quite an extensive number of years experience as a nurse some of you may be managers or deputy managers on the wards before moving to the uk so you need to make sure those are enough but you need to learn about the uk systems of how they do things you need to know most of the policies it doesn't take a long time for you to learn those things One year 18 months for me I would say it's enough for you to start thinking of applying to become a band six nurse those are the things so familiarize yourself with the sickness policies all the procedures and guidelines that you have on the ward update your CV as well because if you update your CV it will show some of the new skills you have gained I've done a video as well on how to you know um, do your prepare for job interviews really uh, when you're writing your supporting or when you're applying for a job there is a video on that it gives you tips as to how to get shortlisted and then when you get shortlisted that is when you go for the interview and if you are successful you become whatever you want to do so you need to apply for as many jobs as you can because don't just apply for one and think oh i've applied i've not even been shortlisted no you need to keep going you may have disappointment you would apply for you would apply for one band six role to the other you might not be shortlisted or you might be shortlisted you go and interview and you may not get the job because apparently there's someone who performed better yes that could happen um, and it could also be sometimes someone is already in a secondment position in that job so when they go for interview or you go for interview with that 
that person it's more likely that person will get the job rather than you but they have to interview or uh, invite you for interview anyway because you performed well during the shortlisting process so you need you would have to so unless of course you already experience in that role and you're able to prove beyond every doubt that you're better than the one who is in a secondment role why not but it's not always someone is in a secondment role if it's a ward sister you could come from a completely different environment with a lot of experience and you may be given the job so you know you need to keep pushing if you want to move forward you have to push yourself nobody would push you once again very few managers will support you or yeah it's true very few managers will be supportive to push you you have to do things yourself you have to learn to do things if, uh, yourself if you want to succeed in the uk as a an overseas trained nurse because it's very competitive you know you have to push yourself you have to prepare for every interview you have to show you are the preferred candidate and you don't just go without doing any extra curriculum you have to go and find little courses and do yourself regarding the areas you want to pursue and when you apply you have to prove that yes of course i am ready to learn and i have already made some um some are taking some initiative myself to do one or two things in order to show that you know what I'm willing to learn so I hope you find this video helpful if it is your wish as an overseas nurse who have uh, relocated to UK to work to progress professionally then you have to be prepared to work hard for it um, but if you have come and you feel you know what I don't think I want extra responsibility all I want is to come and work do my band five job make my money do some agency do some bank uh, bank shifts and make money it's fine because sometimes if you look at the salary different difference between a band seven like band seven currently the top of band seven i think the salary is about fifty thousand and something per annum and a top of band eight a which is a matron is about fifty seven thousand and something so the difference between a top band seven and a top band eight is just over seven thousand and something and so when you look at it you ask yourself is that even worth it but in a way it might be worth it you're getting more experience you're getting a little bit extra money so i think it's important for you to aspire to develop professionally rather than sit at one place but everybody's plan and everybody's reason for relocating to the uk is completely different so i hope this has helped and if you have any questions if you have any suggestions if you have any topic you would like me to do create a video on i'm willing to do that if you're out there and you want to come on my channel please email me and i would link up with you take care of yourselves and i shall see you again soon bye bye have a good day